Hello, I'm Adam Barrelay and welcome to this Crystal Connections video. We're exploring the crystal Labradorite. There's a beautiful legend about this crystal that once a great warrior found Labradorite and rammed his spear into it, releasing the lights that are now the Aurora Borealis. So Labradorite is a crystal that helps to awaken your warrior and release your lights to the world. In past generations, we may have been able to trust authority figures such as politicians, religious leaders and health professionals. But as we're seeing in this time and age, it's time to start thinking for ourselves. And Labradorite helps you to do that. It helps you to question majority or mainstream thoughts and see if they actually resonate with you. Instead of relying on other people for providing you with information and guidance, Labradorite asks you to question yourself. What feels right to you? So meditating with this crystal is really good for connecting with your own truth and finding your own answers. As you start to think more independently, Labradorite helps to enhance your creativity. It's especially a great crystal for people that may be playwrights or poets or need to be creative and inspire other people. However, if you just need to come up with a new fresh idea, then take some time and meditate with your Labradorite holding against your third eye and wait for that inspiration to come. As you deepen your relationship with Labradorite, don't be surprised if you start planning your next holiday. Labradorite wants you to start going on your own adventures, to start paving your own path, to become the black sheep and live your life that actually feels right with you. When you meditate with Labradorite, it starts to ask you, what else is there? What else is there? Ask yourself that question and start to explore what will really feed and nurture your soul. It's also very protective as you go out on your own. You'll notice it's got the shine, and this shine works like a mirror, deflecting anything that would you know, cause you harm along the way. It also helps to guard you against naysayers. When you come up with doing something a little bit different, or want to do something that's not the quid pro quo, it actually encourages you to not take on heart those negative naysayer opinions. As Labradorite has such a close connection to the Aurora Borealis, putting it outside at night as the Aurora Borealis or the Aurora Australis shines overhead would be the ideal way to cleanse this crystal. However, you may not be able to do that straight away, so I place it out on the new moon. The new moon is the darkest of the dark nights, and this is where all the beginnings and fresh ideas come from, out of the void and out of the darkness. The animal that is connected to Labradorite is very much also connected with the darkness, the crows and the ravens, seen as the guardians of the void. The void is this place or space before life becomes, before ideas, before there was life, there was nothing, before the Big Bang, there was nothing, before you have a bright idea, there is nothing, and crow and raven helps connect you to that. They are the spark of insight within the void, and you see that in the sheen of their black feathers. So crow and raven can help you connect with that darkness to find new ideas and also to find new and different parts of yourself that you haven't discovered yet. So close your eyes, hold your Labradorite and allow crow or raven to connect with you and teach you these great wisdoms. The plant that I work with is juniper berry. Juniper berry, especially as an essential oil, is great during the day, especially as you go out traveling and go on new adventures in undiscovered places. It helps to clear the mind and also is very protective. At night, it helps you dream, it gives you great guidance, and also stops night terrors. So always diffuse juniper berry essential oil whenever you're working with your Labradorite. Now up in the sky, there are lots of beautiful things that really connect with Labradorite. The first one, of course, is the Aurora Borealis. And if you're not there, where you can see the Aurora Borealis or the Aurora Australis down south, then simply close your eyes and visualize that. These energies are very balancing and invigorating. They help you to find balance in your own life. Planetary-wise, Uranus is the planet that really connects with Labradorite because Labradorite encourages you to go out on your own and to pave your own path, an alternative path. Uranus guards um, and looks over alternative lifestyles, alternative paths and doing that as well. So connecting with that energy. So sit outside at night, face the direction of Uranus and draw that energy in. The final one is a star called Arcturus, a golden red star, which is very much connected with recognize recognition and honor when you go out and follow your own path. It can help you to find, I guess, what you, you really want to do and help you to get acknowledgement for making that contribution. So connecting with that star can be really interesting when working with your Labradorite as well. 
Labradorite is really drawn to a lot of people and I find a lot of people start to be drawn to it when they're not happy with where they are in their life, when they need to start asking themselves what else is there. I'd love to hear about your experiences with Labradorite, so please leave a comment in the section below. I'm Adam Barillet. Thank you so much for taking this time to watch this video. Blessed be.